Hello and welcome to another edition of the Week in Review. I believe it is the first for the year. Uh, we'd like to welcome you all uh, to uh, this live broadcast on NTN. My name is Jesse Leance. I'm joined in studio by my colleagues, Mr. Carlton Cyril, widely known as Cox, and Miss Lisa Joseph. Uh, today is a Saturday, the 6th of February, and this past week has been quite eventful. Mm -hmm. We've so far seen the institution of the second state of emergency here in St. Lucia uh, since the pandemic ensued early last year. I'd like to, first of all, just welcome my colleagues. A special good morning to you all. Uh, you both. Sorting, sorting through. <laughs> yes. <laughs> files upon files. Bonjour, files. bonjour, bonjour. Uh, et puis, toujours un plaisir, uh, messieurs, dames, qu'on vous C'était un bagage, nous avons un plaisir qu'on fait. Et vous avez dit, nous avons 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 dit, Kamadlan. Ek nou ka apwese ou ki ka ve, ou ki ka sipote, ek anko an chay development si men sa selman ek pli pou vi. Informasyon, ek informasyon ou ka hen ni hod plas la ou sipose hen ni, epi se moun nan ki ni informasyon. Kwa bon maten pa pies diferans, asou ansam de bon maten li 6 fevriye. Eh, eh, combien ouais moi entre des belles jeunes moun, des belles madame avec eh, moi qui ont été là pour juste yo ni moi ici à ou été et puis nous uh, we'd also like to note before we go on to the program that if you're uh, watching on NTN but you're flipping through the channels, you could also go through to DBS. We're uh, not only on cable TV on there as well, we're also on their Facebook page. So we encourage you to tune on to the DBS Facebook page, uh, the live that is ongoing right now. We're on there right now. You can post your comments, your queries, concerns as we get into this conversation about the state of emergency curfew, vaccines, pre-testing, testing, what have you. Everything happening and transpiring. Updates and more from this week. All right. And uh, now, traditionally, we would have our own Facebook a feed. Unfortunately, we are experiencing some yeah. difficulties with that. Just want to let you know that but we are continuing to work on it. However, the program will be posted there. Um, once that is rectified, also, for the participation for you, we want you to participate. We want to hear your voice. You can call us, and we will indicate when that will be. You can call us at telephone number 4682162. That's 4682162. Make note of that because we will be opening up the lines not too far from now. We also want to let you know that we are going to speak with the... Of, on speaking on the immunization is mm -hmm. coming the vaccine for COVID-19 is coming we're having um, some 74,400 mm -hmm. um, doses of the AstraZeneca uh, COVID-19 vaccine we'll be speaking to assistant principal nursing officer Ms. Jabatis, Tecla Tecla Jabatis, Jabatis and she will be giving us some information of course she did uh, issue a press statement earlier this week but we will just be getting word from her as to where things stand as of today and we know that uh, efforts right now are feverish in terms of the sensitization preparation from the Ministry of Health and Wellness as well as just giving us uh, some uh, some inside uh, information as to their activities right now in preparation for uh, the inoculation exercise and most importantly come Tuesday the Parliament will meet mm -hmm. and there are two motions there for consideration in addition to statements and papers to be laid um, the Parliament the, the the motion there is for the Parliament to declare the state of emergency um, which was published in the Gazette on the 3rd of February uh, statutory instrument number 27 of 2021 and it contains a declaration of a pub public emergency has arisen as a result of COVID-19 and infectious disease for a further period of 90 days commencing the 11th of February 2021 and ending on the 16th of May 2021. So we know that the Prime Minister uh, on Sunday uh, Tuesday. It was Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Did indicate uh, that we had a state of emergency instituted, mm -hmm. and that would have lasted until the 10th of February. It was for seven days in the first instance, 
and now going to Parliament to, have, to seek that extension. I know that a lot of people here in a state of emergency oh, yes. creates a lot of panic, but we've been here before. Mm -hmm. I, I think the, the, the panic is stemming from our first experience with the state of emergency where it was accompanied with a lockdown. And of course, the scale down of commercial and business activity was far more significant than mm -hmm. what we're experiencing this time around. So I think the work and the effort right now is to allay these fears and concerns. I think people are, have already begun to understand what the layout is like in terms of this state of emergency. We've had three days, three working days to begin to assess what it looks like. And I, I mean, as we've seen, it's, it's not any great deviation for, from what obtained when the officials took action uh, about two weeks ago to try to get a hold on the, uh, the uh, spike in cases, that situation over a thousand cases in one month. Uh, there was a scale back in business activity. Schools had been uh, closed. And so uh, this is essentially a continuation. If you look at the essential services list, the businesses that are permitted to open, it's a continuation of that. But there is no lockdown and there is no cessation of all business activity or anything to that effect. It's just providing an opportunity, as like the first instance, to have the government of St. Lucia pushed to make decisions on the fly, as we mentioned, and we continue to state, I mean, that's a word I've heard Cook say so many times, the situation is fluid. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, always the, the, the opportunity must be there for quick action to be taken. And, you know, worst case scenario, we are brought to that situation. We must mm -hmm. have a lockdown. Then the government of St. Lucia is able to do that. But right now, uh, it, it, the situation does not necessitate a lockdown. And we are so far seeing... Um, quite a bit of reduced activity by the actions that have been so far put in place by the authorities. Reduced activity, reduced uh, mo mobility of persons, uh, quite a few businesses are closed. More persons are working from home and so that is actually working, you know, to the benefit of this uh, infection reduction effort. Now then most importantly before Cox comes in, mm -hmm. the state of emergency, while it facilitates having a curfew, this does not mean that the intent is to keep curfew for the entire 90-day period. Because right. as Jesse indicated, while the state of emergency allows for the government to be able to, and public health officials, uh, to advise on the quick measures to be taken um, to, in order to respond effectively to the, the situation at hand, um, there may come a time within that 90-day period that the situation is so beginning to get under control or that the chief medical officer is satisfied to the point that our transmission rate mm -hmm. um, has diminished to a point where it is more manageable. And so that curfew period could actually cease. They can actually just stop mm -hmm. uh, that curfew period. Cool. Uh, Let, but let's put it mm -hmm. into context before um, you come on, Cox. You need a state of emergency to have a curfew. Yes. Mm -hmm. but you of emergency and I, I i hope that persons understand this we do not need to with the, there's not a likelihood of the continued curfew during the this three month period you will not be required to to to, to, to be under a curfew if we see a reduction and the officials so guided decide to remove it it will not be anything um extraordinary et puis, euh, bon matin, si vous avez chillé, écoutez nous quand les puis discussion, euh, ou quoi il bien savent qu'on nous dit un chaque a fait, et ni Lisa ni Jesse a fait bien clair. En parmi par gai nous quand discuté, et ou tant dit les vignes pour vacciner, non, euh, nous j'attends confirmation qu'a sorti hors uh, gouvernement, euh, a pris pris uh, 74 4 sa 74400 euh vaccine a confirmé by cette crise par PAO ça c'est une ces discussion nous ca initier et puis là nous ca parler des étaille des sous quoi et curfew qui nous en bail changer curfew ça les premiers ministres l'a adressé nation i dit pour 7 jours mais 7 jours ça vous savez qu'a venir mardi quand les mardi vini ou ka itan eh, premier ministre le cabinet yo ka ale en parlement pour joindre ajouter pour en 3 mois ka commencer le 11 février et eh, pour le 16 mai encore ça qui bien important c'est les nous tan zafè nou ka en ban état de soukou encore et eh, puis nou ka tan minou hani ke fiu changer encore ou brisé état de soukou a mais ke fiu a nous ça toujours travail et puis 
raison qui official euh, hot gouvernement hot département santé yo ka mette ça en place pour ranger bagaille pour voir qui manière nous ça contrôler ça qui ka fait là et puis c'est limo ou ka bien d'accord quantité monde ka trouver ko yo testé positif et puis ça quand un bagaille ni pour fait so trouver ko informer le eh, gouvernement eh, si maintenant qui ka venir en bout euh eh, kofua ka essayer pour ajouter pour un lot euh, trois mois ça qui est bien important avec Jesse et l'homme non et puis ça c'est ou pas briser ni un curfew euh, si la panne euh, est taille de soukou euh, déa pas obligé qu'à les mains en main si c'est limo à baisser nous pas obligé ni pièce curfew mais là venir pour taille de soukou à nous briser changer encore nous avons opportunité à plus tard programme là pour ça couiller nous et puis conseil ou et puis euh, n'importe euh, euh, contribution ou même euh, vle fè nou kay fè sa nou kay pale hod an jan hod uh, departman uh, santé quoi hod ya sa ki ka fèt isi a c'est nou ka ba information ek nou même ka pwen uh, information hod nou ka pwen contribution kon nou antanmè isi an sant kamant information pou ba ou development ek information a sou an samedi bon matin i don't mean to go back into the past mm -hmm. but it is always you know 20 uh hein, 2020 Mm -hmm. Hindsight is 2020. Yeah, um, but you know, just looking back at the last few months, we and we were in the period of a state of emergency uh, from between was it uh, the April, the beginning of April. Well, we, we had the first one March 23rd to April 26th. March 23rd to 20, the 26th, and it was extended. Um, we, tw April 27 to uh, May 31st. To May 31st, and, and then there was a third one. Mm -hmm. June 1st to September 30th. Uh -huh. Okay, to September 30th. And, uh, you know, if we could just look at the figures, just put the period yeah. and, and alongside with the figures, uh -huh. you know, we enjoyed quite low figures of COVID-19 and uh -huh. no deaths, you know, at uh -huh. that point. You know, coming into October, November, when we experienced the second wave of COVID-19 here in St. Lucia, something that we were able to manage and get a grip on, so much so uh, that we were afforded uh, the opportunity uh, to have some reduced restrictions uh, for the festive season. For Christmas. And yes. uh, mm -hmm. there lies the very, you know, the very... Uh, concerning slippery slope that slippery we're slope. on right yes. now mm -hmm. precarious mm -hmm. crossing mm -hmm. you know that we came over and you know uh, the population was given an opportunity to be festive and to be merry while still observing certain um, restrictions in you know in the country but we so far but we saw were called upon to in, a, in effect uh, govern ourselves mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you will discretion mm -hmm. and yes and we were asked to take control mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of, of the situation by each of us playing our part. The mm -hmm. advice was there, so the advice was given for us to follow. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not all of us followed as we should have, mm -hmm. yeah. and hence where we are at now. And the Ministry of Health, uh, latest figures coming out oh, on yes. Friday, um, it's, it's, it is worrying. I mean, we, we have to admit that it mm -hmm. is very, very worrying. Mm -hmm. um, they received confirmation, just to go through the statement that, that they, the ministry released, uh, they received confirmation from the Ezra Long Lab mm -hmm. of 257 mm -hmm. new cases. Mm -hmm. And that was from a batch of 886 mm -hmm. tests conducted um, for the period January 25th to February 2nd. So they were now mm -hmm. closing in on that backlog that mm -hmm. we've had. So we had 257 cases there. Now also- Over um, a three day period of, right. of tests. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, but we also had a total of 22 tests were conducted with 32 confirmed positive also on the 2nd of February. On February 3rd, which is Wednesday, we had 255 oh, tests nice. conducted and 90 confirmed positive. And uh, February 4th, um, on Thursday, we had 409 tests conducted with 135 confirming positive there. So critically important, 
the ministry says with the current increase in the number of cases of COVID-19, the ministry has amended the isolation strategy for management of confirmed cases. What does that mean? Isolation now is being conducted through both state-based sites and community-based isolation. This allows for a greater degree of vigilance in the management of the milder COVID cases. Um, given home isolation, uh, cannot be effectively conducted for some individuals who have been placed in care. <laughs> okay. But listen, so, you know, that, that brings us to the point where, you know, Christmas time, there, there were breaches observed and even action taken by law enforcement. You know, but with this extent of um, not only dealing with persons having to home quarantine, and isolate now in their various communities now we're seeing what is the capacity to police it and so it's in incumbent on the individual now to ensure that they adhere to the protocols in the continued fight against COVID-19 and you since know? we can't rely on ourselves mm -hmm. to do what's best for mm -hmm. ourselves <laughs> um, but the government now I mean we, we have to admit that the numbers the numbers are very telling mm -hmm. and of course it shows that there is pressure being uh, made to bear on the resources that is both um, institutional the human resource as well uh, so now the government has um, reopened the uh, mm -hmm. public health um, facility mm -hmm. uh, as well as getting commissioning another hotel in order for us to be able to accommodate uh, these growing numbers. I can call uh, Monsieur Dam. Nous avons côté nous et on l'en est plus tard. Changer les vignes pour étayer des soukois, les vignes pour coffre nous t'es passé à peu près trois. Et puis nous et manier nous manager ces limoua pour dat garder côté nous et on en sait pas gagner nous ni pour manier quoi nous qui manier nous trouver quoi nous côté nous hier. Quand dit Lisa Anik dit Talala, nous commençons qu'à glisser, qui passe, nous qu'à deux bouts de pièces. Et ou qu'à comprendre pour qui ça, gouvernement ni pour point. C'est eh, c'est c'est là, ils ont en place là. Eh, c'est directif ça, ils ont un ni map pour faire assurer oui, nous contrôler ça qui qu'a fait là. Pour dat eh, vendredi ou qu'à ils savent, eh, c'est les mois nous ni l'un ni pour faire puis Covid. Ou quand ils savent, yo oui souve ben la ni confirmation qu'a sorti hard eh, facilité Ezra Long qu'a dit nous 257 moun tout fait quoi yo testé positif et puis Covid ça sorti hard en bat yo teni 886 bon quand ils changent Ezra Long te hadi yo tena chai pi moun qu'a tout fait quoi yo testé quoi yo même eh, la mais yo te maré et puis quantité de tests de café quand c'est le mois commencé qu'à sortir dehors en parmi ça pour mardi le 2 e février nous avons 222 tests de fait en ça nous avons 32 monde confirmé positif mercredi le 3 e juin février nous avons 255 tests fait en ces tests ça 90 confirmé positif et puis et jeudi et semaine ça nous est 400 tests faits et en ces tests ça 135 moun confirmé yo hen testé positif quand on ka wè côté nouyé et bon nouvelle là c'est yo tenir toutes ces tests ça qu'a fait parce que c'est les mois qu'a monté plus tests qu'a fait et puis à présent il ka sort d'or il bien important pour nous deux Là, il vient pour manière assessment ministre qui est responsable pour santé qu'a fait. Là, il vient pour ces cliniques là. Là, il vient pour protocole. C'est mon qui est trouvé quoi il a affecté. Il a jamais dit pour quarantine. Et puis l'autre bagarre là, les autres à présent gouvernement il vous point pour commencer parce que mon pas qu'à coûter. Il a qu'à expecter mon t'es qu'à et puis suivre direction. Mais il a pas qu'à faire quoi à présent gouvernement qui est pour faire ça pour mon pe copain ça qui est allé puis pour eux même ça chenanzié à sous situation quoi c'est là nous et puis c'est la discussion y est eh, bon matin and so once again just to tell you that the ministry has now amended how it is managing um the, the persons in isolation and mm -hmm. we know that the ministry has had the sort of uh taken the action i don't want yeah. to say policy but taken the action that yes COVID 19 but most people have COVID 19 very mild mm -hmm. And perhaps they are feeling well enough to be up and about mm -hmm. and go, going around their, their, their daily affairs um, and infecting 
um, others. So right now, the ministry has amended that isolation strategy, just to uh, reiterate, uh, that isolation is currently being conducted through both state-based sites and community-based isolation. Mm -hmm. And so this will allow the ministry a greater um, degree of vigilance. They'll be able to supervise much better the management of milder COVID-19 cases, given that home isolation cannot be effectively conducted for some per in the persons who are placed there uh, for care. Okay. I just want to go, um, continue that uh, testing uh, conversation, uh, well, the isolation. Uh, in terms of testing, there have been new protocols that have been put in place for easier access for persons who feel ill at this time. So if you have symptoms associated with COVID-19, Antigen tests will be used for screening in high-risk settings and in workspaces. Um, also, exit tests for travelers will be facilitated at private uh, laboratories. Mass testing will be introduced. Two new testing sites will be uh, established. Nationals will also have the option of testing at private laboratories. I believe, Lisa, you mentioned that a little bit earlier. Yes, yeah, so, so we will be able to, to have that. Um, but if you, from the antigen test, if right. you do get a positive you have to back that with a PCR test mm -hmm. that would be done. And I think that the antigen test, um, the businesses, a number of businesses have begun using that mm -hmm. to really um, know what's happening with their staff and that sort of thing. So I think it also gives um, some degree of comfort, if you will. However, however, we have to be careful that we're not allowing ourselves to be, if you've taken an antigen test, it has come up negative, and then you, yeah, all of a sudden, complacent. you let your guard down mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm good, I'm free, I'm clean, mm -hmm. if you will, and then you're letting your guard down, and by doing so, place yourself in harm's way. So we have to be very, very careful about this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, also, coming out of the announcement by the Prime Minister, pre-testing, that's another aspect that has been adjusted. We've, uh, we heard from the Prime Minister that uh, pre-testing individuals who want to travel to St. Lucia, the time period for getting tested and coming up with a PCR, a negative PCR test to come to St. Lucia is five days. It's gone from seven to five days. And that is, again, in an effort to be able to nip COVID-19 in the bud at the borders as soon as possible. Okay, so we are going to speak with the Assistant Principal Nursing Officer, Ms. Tekla Jabatis. Uh, that's coming up after a short break we're taking. Remember, the vaccine um, is coming to St. Lucia by the end of February. And we want to discuss with the, uh, Ms. Jabatis the sort of plan that the ministry has in place for that. Stay with us. We're taking a quick break. She's on the other side of that. Hi. I'm Jim Joseph, what? president of the Beauceju Community Group. We believe St. Lucia can win the war against the coronavirus and his health. Every community in St. Lucia must mobilize, coordinate, monitor and support residents the way we would before, during and after a natural disaster. Identify volunteers in your community, assign them roles and deploy them. Ensure your elderly and vulnerable understand all protocols. Help relatives, shield them from unnecessary contact with others. Identify those recently unemployed and vulnerable neighbors living alone. Put systems in place to filter updates from official sources throughout your community. Promote the hotline number 311. If it takes a village to raise a child, then all of us can come together to defend the village against the coronavirus. Let's do it. And as promised, we're having the discussion now on St. Lucia's receipt of the AstraZeneca vaccine. We have some 74,400 doses um, due to arrive here on island um, come the uh, end of February, perhaps into the first week of March, just to allow some degree of allowance in case anything were to be delayed. However, the point is the vaccine is coming. And with that, we'll be able to have something in the region of 37,000 St. Lucians will be able to be uh, vaccinated, 20% um, so of the po population. But online we have with us, and let's say good morning to Ms. Tekla Jabatis. Can you hear us clearly? Hi, yes, good morning. Wonderful. Good morning, Ms. Jabatis. 
I know for you it, and you, the your rest of your colleagues, it may be a, a sort of rush right now because uh, I, although I know that the ministry has been preparing for this day for some time, perhaps you can give us a little background information as to what the preparation has been like and the sort of program that you have already decided upon for the rollout of the vaccine. Okay, thanks, Lisa. Thanks again for giving me that opportunity to be um, on your program this morning. Um, well, the Ministry of Health, like that of many other countries in the Caribbean, we are working diligently um, to access and to make available the COVID-19 vaccine <clears throat> to our population. Um, so we are, of course, um, making big strides towards that. As you would have been aware, um, and it was announced by the Prime Minister, that we have received confirmation of the um, of an allocation of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine um, to St. Lucia. Of course, this is being um, received through the COVAX facility, and um, we know that the COVAX facility um, equity is is um, what they're all about. We need to ensure that there is fair and equitable access to the vaccine um, by those who who needs it. Um, so, of course, at the Ministry of Health, we have a, a COVID-19 vaccine committee, which is um, planning and um, coordinating the rollout um, for the vaccine introduction and deployment in country. Uh, we have decided um, that the rollout of this vaccine is going to take a phased approach. We have established um, a three-phased approach. Of course, we know at the initial stages um, there will be limited um, there will be limited amount of, of vaccine. Um, so as such, we saw it important to offer the vaccine or make it available rather to persons who are at higher risk um, to COVID-19 infection. So just to give you a, a, a sort of an overview or rather what the phases entail. So in the initial phase, as I said, the target would include those who are at higher risk. So we here we're talking about our high exposure healthcare workers, our frontline workers, the police, the fire officers, those um, who are in the front line, those who are in direct contact um, with patients, especially COVID positive patients. Um, our person, 65 years and older, we know most persons in that um, category um, are at higher risk um, for many reasons, um, the age and um, the presence of comorbid conditions um, such as chronic non-communicable diseases. We would also be focusing on the elderly in communities and also those in nursing homes. In the second phase, of course, by that time, we would have had um, an increased supply, but it would still be limited um, because one of the things that I probably want to say is that, yes, we have an allocation, but it won't be coming all at once. So St. Lucia won't be receiving the entire 20%. But, of course, this will be delivered to us in tranches. So hence the reason why it will be very limited in the very first phase. But by the second phase, we expect that we would have lots, a lot more vaccine to be able to reach out to um, other persons. And in that phase, of course, we would be um, targeting persons of medium risk. We, we have some healthcare workers, not those who are not directly in the front line, but to some extent um, are at risk 
these persons will be targeted. Likewise, our firemen and policemen, the caregivers of individuals and persons with non-communicable diseases. And in the third phase, of course, we would be focusing at that time, we would have a lot more vaccines, there would be enough to supply the rest of the population. So we would focus now on the non-essential workers and the rest of the population and anybody um, who is at low risk. The, um, also, I need to, in terms of our rollout, the Cabinet of Ministers has um, agreed for this vaccine to be made available at no cost to the citizens, and it shall be provided on a voluntary basis. Um, so it is important for um, our people, our population, our citizenry to, to know that. Um, in terms of our capacity um, to roll out and the plans surrounding that, um, the AstraZeneca vaccine, of course, um, its storage capacity um, is similar to that of other vaccines in our um, national program. Um, they do not, it does not require any cold storage. And as such, um, storage and deployment will be a lot easier. It will be available um, at all our wellness centers across the island. Um, Sorry about that. It will be um, available at all our wellness centers across the island. Of course, in terms of um, meeting high-risk groups such as fire, health, police, we would be targeting these groups um, in sort of a, a, a workplace um, approach. We would be going to them rather. So we would be visiting in health institutions, fire stations, police stations, um, in order to get those persons vaccinated. However, the other um, persons in the in the in the other phases, um, they would require to be a pre-registration, um, a pre-registration for the vaccine. Um, so, at all wellness centers, persons can call persons belonging to the various target groups, um, can call to pre-register. This is important to us so that we are better able to plan um, our actual um, rollout of vaccines on the set dates, and it's it, 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 it allows us to, 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 to prepare and to plan because we, what we want to have is a successful administration of the, of the vaccine. We don't want persons to be waiting on long lines as we would have seen in many of con other countries who are actually rolling out um, the COVID-19 vaccine at, at this time. Um, Just to ask Ms. Jabatis, with respect to um, the, the, the sensitization, uh, what is the plan for that? Because we know the skepticism about the vaccine, it, it, it is something that is present in St. Lucia. We've heard, and you just made mention there, of some uh, other countries. Certainly in other countries, while people are taking vaccines, um, there is a, a, a segment of the population that doesn't believe in the vaccine. So what about sensitizing St. Lucians on the, uh, how safe the vaccine is, perhaps its effectiveness as well? Okay. Um, St. Lucia, of course, um, continues to rely on the World Health Organization um, as it, when it comes to vaccines. 
And this is just to ensure that whatever vaccines that we make available to our population is safe, it is efficacious, and it is of good quality. I mean, persons in St. Lucia, we know, some are really awaiting the vaccines. We have others who are very apprehensive, as you said, Um, On the media, we hear lots of things. One of the major concerns is that of how fast the vaccine was developed. I just want to assure our population that the vaccines that we are going to be receiving in St. Lucia, first off, is going to be pre-qualified by the World Health Organization. And, of course, the vaccines um, before pre-qualification would have gone through rigorous trials and would have to be approved by several regulatory um, agencies before a final approval is given. So rest assured that... The vaccine that the vaccine that is going to be made available is one that is safe. Of course, um, we know that persons oftentimes use the media, and um, and their decision to accept or not accept the vaccine depends on what they see. We understand that. Hence, the reason why in the coming weeks. You will see, um, you will, there will be lots of programs um, just to inform persons about the vaccine, its benefit to them. Um, so there will be lots of work. There will be PSAs, um, there will be talk shows, and, um, and talk shows, sorry, and other and other news items um, to really educate and inform our population um, about the vaccine, and more so the AstraZeneca vaccine that we know is one of the first vaccines that will become available to us here. I just want to assure our population, of course, that the COVID-19 vaccine um, will have the same benefits as other vaccines introduced into our national program. It is a public health strategy to help contain um, the COVID-19 pandemic that we're having now and um, to help us achieve immunity um, to the disease. Go ahead, Jesse, because I was going to just try to throw to Cox there for, for a moment. But before Jesse comes in, what's up, Ali Koyola Kuma? We can debat? We can debat. We can Absolutely. But before that, Jesse has a question for you. Uh, despite, the, sure. the, despite the voluntary basis of, of this inoculation program, uh, the vaccine essentially is regarded as a salvation for the I whole world in, in, you know, grappling with this pandemic. Uh, do you have any timeline? Does the Ministry of Health in St. Lucia have any timeline as per the World Health Organization for, um, for, for ensuring that a certain number of the population is, uh, has received this vaccine? What, what is the goal here? For Hello? us, in terms of a timeline, um, well, of course, as I said earlier, we have received um, we have received confirmation from um, the World Health Organization from um, Covax that um, vaccines should be made available, of course, by the end of February. I just need to also say that um, we know with COVID-19, um, the pandemic, um, it has affected lots of things. So, and before a vaccine actually gets here, there are lots of logistics. As it really, it's, I mean, apart from approval, we know shipping, etc., having to maintain the cold chain throughout that process, getting in country. 
So yes, we're working along with that timeline of end of February, but bearing in mind all of these logistics, and as Lisa would have said a little earlier, you know, we're given some allowance, there may be delays, so it's possible that the vaccine can get here um, sometime early March. Once I'm, the vaccine I'm not talking gets about the, the vaccine arrival. I'm talking about the if there's any on the part of the ministry in terms of implementing a number of the population by a certain period of time. Yes, I am just getting, I'm getting to that. Okay, understood. So, yes, so once the vaccine gets here, the Ministry of Health and the team, of course, will be well placed and be ready to roll out no sooner the vaccine it gets here. So for phase one, we are actually looking at a two to three months timeline um, to get at least that first 20% of the population um, inoculated. Okay. So once vaccine gets here, we'll be, just, we'll be ready. The, the vaccination teams, all logistics would be in place and be ready. Um, so two months from that time, two to three months, we should be able to cover the first 20% of the population. Okay. Cox? Eh bien, nous pouvons finir pour vous qui savent, nous sommes ces gens qui ont parlé langue créole et puis moi, je vais représenter ces gens. Et puis, moi, je vais vous donner pour aller canter loin qu'on lit ça et puis Jesse. Mais enfin, ça nous a dit que vous hodo compé c'est un uh, vieux uh, répété uh, importance les vini pour uh, vaccin nous ka parlé à sou AstraZeneca qui c'est vaccin nan cette li si kay wi souve ben nou a une confirmation hod uh, pa ou konik uh, di nation ki uh, sa vaccin nan e bien vitement et puis um, pa ki tan nou ka henni bénéfice li et puis, eh ben nous un dernier parole où. Moi qui essaye. Ouais, débat, débat. Quand on puis na yedo. On y commence et puis vaccine na et puis uh, attention des vaccins. Okay, thank you, folks. Um, I will try my best to do mm. this, um, and I would like your assistance, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. Mungai okay, la, naichi <laughs> Okay, so no connect about, um, well, my can just buy on preamble. Oui. Um, no serve that um, um, COVID-19 virus la, um, ka affecti or shy moon. They pa just said, Lisi, me totally won la tear. No jawe moon, please, yeah, me, moon. Oh, from um, infection, Sala. Mm -hmm. So, say because of, well, past, because of ça, et puis, calte dommage la, vemin Sala ka fe, un vaccine, um, a vaccine have been developed. You are developing a vaccine mm -hmm. pour aide, um, protect the population, et puis pour, ça nous connaît qu'à dire en anglais contain the virus pour mener un bas control pour mm -hmm. contrôler un bas conduit right pour conduit un bas conduit um, nous avons les mon point vaccine il ca build ça nous ca couille immunity et puis c'est ça qui ca um, en cause body uh, pour fight off or il ca combattre oui um, to protect, um, protect body uh, from virus. Mm -hmm. So a vaccine had developed AP simply C um, through World Health Organization mm -hmm. um, ja access oui, nous avons une confirmation simple Oui, nous avons une confirmation that um, nous kais when 60 74400 um, <laughs> dose of uh, vaccine. Non, vaccine, c'est 
AstraZeneca. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oui. So, nous can expect vaccine ça là pour immediately see a bout février. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I mean because of um, us have various bagay ki involve um, ki ni pou fete avant vaccine la visit la. Non ni pou bay kono anti allowance. Mm -hmm. So, it possible that no pay join me pour bout février et ben or oh, il ca arrive um bon air mas bon air mas mm -hmm. les vaccins uh, il veut cette ici ben no ca commencer um vaccinate mm -hmm. um population no manière no ca fait ça au ministère de santé c'est nous ha nous establish en phase d'approche quoi que c'est meilleur à dire phase ben nous qu'il fait en phase en phase mm -hmm. so en première phase là mon nous qu'a target c'est c'est mon qui en direct contact c'est mon qui en front line les mon malades c'est yo qui ca ba yo qui ca ke pou yo um, c'est mon ça là nous qu'ai by vaccine la av. Enfin, c'est mon nom qui pli vont non avant parmi nous. That's right. Ok. Et so puis, nous pas parler about the nurse la, c'est docteur, mm -hmm. c'est mon nom qui travaille, c'est l'hôpital la, c'est health center, um, c'est police la, c'est fire officers la, parce que l'on couille en violence la, c'est yo qui en front line la, yo qui ka um, vini collect ses patients la. Um, Quand la travaille, travaille essential. Oui, travaille essential. Mm -hmm. Et, plus euh, plus important c'est c'est ça qui en direct front line c'est ça qui correspond premier so c'est yo no kai commencer by vaccine la premier là also ni on lot set mon en population c'est plus grand mon là c'est mon là c'est citoyen nous that's right mm -hmm. c'est mon là qui ni um, maladie maladie qui susceptible pour right, tomber malade That's right. Qui casse yo plus susceptible pour jouer un virus là. Ou ni moun ki ni cancer, moun ki ni diabetes, high blood pressure, sickle cell. Et puis, ou sav, oui, tout ce moun ça. Also, nou ni se gwa moun nou. Because wa sa lo ka vini gwa, body a pa able pou fight against infections quand nous qui sommes plus jeunes, ça mm -hmm. fait nous plus susceptibles. Mm -hmm. so, c'est mon ça là, y'a tout qui est en première phase. Là. Ok. Bon, je vais vous couper là, mais Léa a qu'à courir en l'air nous là. Ça, je vais vous toucher un petit peu à ce qui est avant moi qui doit aller. C'est Léa qui est pour qui quantité, qui a um, confiance, quand tu confiance, nous ni un. Uh, un vaccin ça qui quantité bon il bon on est touché à ce sens titac et puis eh, moins qu'à qui tout aller la voir à présent là il vient pour vaccin ça parce que quand on est bien des plus bonnes heures mon cas de qui manière il vient et puis quand tu es vite um, eh, eh, on est pas là titac à ce sens là il vient pour les um, um, vaccin astra uh, astrazeneca um, on l'ingé ça au bandi oui moi ça là nous ça mon chai mon vous savez mes concerns about vaccine là about vaccine là et manière de développer aussi vite mais nous n'est pour y en a ces bagages là mon est besoin de population population c'est sars cov c'est pas un virus qui ne So, il y a eu un comme l'année qui passe, et puis, research, et puis, il y a eu un peu de fait, as it relates to développement of vaccine. Mais la pandémie, ça a hit à tout le monde, et puis, nous avons eu un peu de damage. Dommage dommage qui a fait au Liban la terre, de toute manière, il a été pour um, intensifier, speed up, ah, um, faire vacciner cela. 
as lean vaccine, um, lean, lean vaccine, um, they are developing a vaccine et avant you sa approved pour buy population, it can go, it need to go through on shy um, testing, on shy trials, mm-hmm. pour you make sure that vaccine is safe. Vaccine na nuka ijuen na, it need to, it can, um, it need to approve by the World Health Organization. The organization qui qui presque on nous a presque dit c'est eux qui ni final say because based on tout tout research là tout trial là et puis yo ka di um yo ka determine et by approval là that it is safe it say of bon quality et qui effective um pour contain by pour 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 pou take care of virus là depuis approval ça là by then um no question so vaccine là no 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 question là World Health Organization la how probably how probably just um AP is how probably um for you so as anything else learning just then did then yet to buy kini perfect for vaccine na ivy sit la so my just ni put decently say that vaccine la e e e say of bon quality e safe no poco where to the research la the trials la no poco where um ps side effects no pa no pa connect mon no ps major side effects pa se ti um mal lan le bwa ti bwile an ti la fi et pi sa ka fait et pi n'importe l'autre vaccine no point um no bay so le se ti mama la pon vaccine le nou même point tetanus et pi le nou point um flu vaccine no kan anti mal an bois no anti la fièvre c'est bagay comme ça yo ha wè et puis vaccine like ça normal et puis pièce to, et puis toute l'autre vaccine pièce go um side effect comme on mon um mon paralyze ou ka tan bagay about sex change mon ka um i ka changer jeans ou c'est bagay ça là um la ça pas voué et puis um moi just voulais a short simplicien that vaccine uh, is safe et puis et puis bon quality et puis ça point vaccine là les vaccine là il fait cette ici Eh bien, moi, Jean-Baptiste, merci tellement. Nous avons cette liste tant. C'est pour ça que nous toujours avons un monde qui s'est parlé à ce sujet. Encore un vaccin AstraZeneca, Ija Hens, Tamp, WHO, qui est organisation qui est responsable pour la santé en la terre. Il y aura un pouvoir. Et quand il vient de l'ICEON, qui vient sauver tout le monde. Encore, nous avons parlé là-bas. Moi, Tekla Jean-Baptiste, assistant, notre officier principal, là, il vient pour immunisation et puis c'est yon un manager là merci tellement pour information ça nous vous souhaite un bon journée merci thank you so much mr batis and what we'll do now we'll take a quick break mm-hmm. and we'll come back of course we want to be able to hear from you in our remaining moments uh, that telephone number that i gave you at the top of the show still stands that number is 4682162 that's 4682162 we take a short break. We'll be right back. Hey, we are war with a virus. Ready to harm us. Panic is not the answer. We can win this together. We'll often use hand sanitizer. Better yet, do soap and water. We must protect each other if we are to beat this corona. Together, let us win this war. Be a soldier for solution. Together, let us win this war. Be a soldier together, we can beat this corona. So you don't become the next case. Avoid touching your face. I'm sure you've been told so. Handshakes and hugging are up. No, no. Advice is you the please. Cover your mouth and your nose if you cough or sneeze. Practice social distancing and avoid large social gatherings. Together, let us win this war. Be a soldier for seclusion. Together, let us win this war. Seclusion, be a soldier. Together, we can beat this corona. 
For further information, please contact the hotline at 311 or the Bureau of Health Education at 468-5349. And we just uh, close off there with the principal, the assistant principal nursing officer, Ms. Tekla Jabatis, giving us information on the uh, receipt of, by St. Lucia, the AstraZeneca as a COVID-19 vaccine, some 74,400 doses of that vaccine due to come here. And as Ms. Jabatis indicated, we will be taking that in a phased uh, approach and um, in phase one, inoculating the most vulnerable and, of course, the essential workers. In phase two, they will be targeting people who are at the medium risk, including um, frontline workers. And, of course, in phase three, uh, the sort of general population. Mm -hmm. um, it is free. It is free for, for us, St. Lucians, to be able to get that. The government of St. Lucia is making that available at no cost, as well as uh, it is voluntary. So there is no imposition by the government for you to uh, have yourself take that vaccine. But of course, all of the benefits are there. And we did hear uh, Ms. Jobatis indicate that there will be an education sensitization um, education program that is going to be rolled out to answer all of your questions with regard to that, answer it from the scientific um, point of view as well from as a public health uh, point of view. So we will be hearing a lot more about that in the coming weeks and she also indicated that a uh, pre-registration facility will be set up at the various clinics so if you want to get vaccinated for uh, covid 19 you can pre-register with uh, the uh, healthcare clinic nearby in your community at this time of course the overall goal of the ministry of health as per the world health organization is covering 20 percent of the population in two to three months so within the time the uh, first batch of vaccines come on island, they hope to uh, cover, uh, inoculate to 20% of the population within three months of arriving in St. Lucia. So please take note of that very important information. You know, the vaccine coming to St. Lucia is definitely something that mm -hmm. I know many persons are looking forward mm -hmm. to. Again, you know, we've had to take several steps back throughout this last year in dealing with COVID-19 and finally we have a vaccine coming here on island that will uh, be able to provide a level of, you know, mm -hmm. immunity mm -hmm. to this virus. Ce que Dieu veut dire um you know c'est bien la mazé Jean Baptiste dit qui bien important nous pas ca recevoir toutes 74000 euh vaccins là même. Nous ca rien ni en phase et quand nous ca rien ni moun et qui dit en ces phases là et qui bien parler moun qui vulnérable ces gens ils sont travaillent essentiel et puis ca descend qu'on rentre dans trois phases ca à deux essai. Bien important il dit euh l'ove vaccin il con toute l'autre vaccin nous ni moun ca prend ces vaccins pour flua nous ca prend tétanos nous ca prend différents bagages et ca dit il sait yon qui a trouvé quoi a prouvé et hen stop WHO qui c'est organisation qui est responsable pour santé et les choses qu'on remède en la terre. Quand on a été dans le il était bien important pour nous de savoir que les vignes pour ça, ils ont un vaccin ou ça mettait la foi en dedans. Et ils n'ont pas qu'à forcer pièce en point et puis ils finissent aussi. Mais c'est aussi important de dire que les autres îles, ils ont fait des provisions pour obtenir des extra si vous voulez des extra. Mm. Um, coverage of vaccine sourcing it through through other means. India has been um, reaching out, and mm -hmm. uh, governments across the globe have been re they've been reaching out to India as well. Some 152 or 153 countries have already sort of in discussions with with the government of India. And is that outside of the COVAX facility? That is outside of the COVAX facility, and our own government, of course, is already in contact with India, and um, there is that sort of um, and that you know we will be at some point receiving um, additional vaccines uh, out of India as well. Um, so by by March, India is looking to give some 60 countries 
um, in the region of the, some 60 million doses that they'll be making available spread across 60 countries by March. And so that is another layer, if you will, that we have to be looking forward to. Um, so, of course, I'm sure that there'll be a lot more about that aspect a little later on. But as we know for now, through COVAX facility, the AstraZeneca is being made available to us. Okay. Uh, I just want to, you know, in the interest of time, what is the, the number again that you could call NTN if you want to we, make a contribution? Call us here at 468-2162. That's 468-2162. If you have a question, you want some clarification on something, you just want to express your concern, your thoughts, we are open for that. And so you can have that interaction with us. I want to also tell you that while we have recorded the 257 new cases um, between uh, well, some from um, tests that were conducted from January Tuesday. 25th to February 2nd, we also had the recovery of 96 individuals. Mm -hmm. So that is great and we're happy that these individuals have recovered from COVID-19. And we do hope that many more are on their way to recovery. Um, so our active cases now, that stands at 920. Uh, and unfortunately, two of these active cases are in critical care at the respiratory hospital. All the others are stable at this time. So we are wishing all of our COVID-19 patients the best of health and hoping that they recover shortly. We have um, over in Jamaica, um, their uh, story is just as telling. Jamaica has recorded its highest number of COVID-19 cases in a 24-hour period, not over a period of days, a 24-hour period. Tests that were conducted in, uh, in, in a 24-hour period, you had uh, 263 cases recorded from 1,785 samples tested in a 24-hour period. The increase in the daily positivity rate of 14.73% is a cause for concern and reflects that there may be a complacent attitude that is taking hold in the population with regards to COVID-19 protocols. The cases are rising more and more out of symptomatic persons presenting to health facilities. Symptomatic persons are not taking precautions at home with the result that contact tracing is yielding several positives in the households and communities. Many of these contacts are without symptoms and are not adhering to any infection prevention and control measures. To stop transmission, all persons, symptomatic or not, or whether they believe they are exposed or not, must wear masks and wash hands and hand sanitize frequently. Sick persons must stay home and all persons in the household must take precautions in the home. And that was being said there by the Minister for Health and Wellness of Jamaica. Uh, that is Dr. Christopher Tufton. And he's reminding Jamaicans of the need to strictly observe to the COVID-19 protocols that the government has put in place there. The country also reported two deaths in COVID-19 positive patients while no recoveries were recorded on the 24-hour timeline. And the ministry is monitoring some 3,700 across Jamaica, even as it keeps a close watch on some of the key parishes that is in Manchester and St. James, where the highest number of active cases have recorded in the last two weeks. And so we see that, I, I read all of that just to show that we are in the Caribbean, um, we are all facing mm -hmm. this crisis at various levels, but we're all facing this crisis. And of course, we know that it is on the health front, it is also on the economic front. Mm -hmm. If you um, just have a say, you know, see by the same way, the has changed. Ce n'est pas yon nou ni pièce direction, pièce livre qui j'a écrit pour do, là on a COVID, mais c'est ça pour faire. L'Amérique, l'Amérique, on nous tant de monde qui a do, c'est le pays au pire, qui a quantité de cas. Et quand nous toujours qu'a dit, il y a une situation côté nous qui a appris, pas de temps nous qui a allé. En commencement, le gouvernement a dit qu'il y a un monde qui a été, il y a un monde qui a été en isolation, le gouvernement a dit qu'il y a un pays pour ça. Là, nous avons deux situations, c'est le mois de décembre. 
que fiu nous te nous te que fiu en place nous te gouvernement mettez bagaille en place yo fermé place au homme que ka vendre au homme manger tout pas tout est fermé nous devons nous tenir bon pour chen mon en sod là avec mon en nord là pour faire assurer nous contrôler avec nous ka wè pli en pli nous ka développer en plan manière avec moi dit ça pour dire simplici avec ça nous ka faire chaque monde ka questionner pour qui ça nous pas fermer pour qui ça quand tes monde ka mort pour qui ça monde ka entrer pour qui ça dis date en dior encore les nous te ka ouvrir pays yo fait en cinq phases nous veye eh, ki manière c'est li moyé nous ouvrir cette place là misi en misi yo certifié yo et puis quand moi ka dit c'est yon bagay personne pas jamais espérancé c'est yon bagay eh, eh, gouvernement trouver koy ni pour agir et puis pas de temps nous aller et qui pourquoi disparaître et côté nous y a présent nous dans situation côté vaccine et pour nous caver nouvel l'autre pays et nouvel l'autre côté nous caver même approche là côté à présent vaccine là et quand il lance les vaccins non vini il cai assister la cai ni plus moun qui vacciné quand moins moun cai transmité vermin là et nous cai ça contrôler en d'un manière nous ca quoi parler ça nous cai savent qui manière avec bonne nouvelle là les sans même voir qu'à venir à présent nous attendre banque la terre qui travaille puis nous avons un projet pour faire assurer nous ranger et ben nous faire système santé nous plus fort pour si en lot en tous les cas nous en lot problème en lot désastre en lot pandémique venir nous en en position pour agir et puis oui I mean you know, coming off, piggybacking off of you, Koch said, I think this week uh, when we saw the Prime Minister come on and followed by all of these stakeholders, oh, yes. I think that was a demonstration that was ideal at this time. Mm -hmm. Because we need everyone to be uh, on deck. We need everyone to be of one accord, despite having different perspectives, mm -hmm. uh, having a different opinion about a particular thing, you know, pulling away from the semantics and all having the same... Um, um, standing in solidarity when it comes to understanding that you know COVID-19 needs to be tackled head on and it needs to be tackled with a, a degree of uh, unification mm -hmm. at this time you know so coming off of what you're saying I, I definitely agree with that point and the unification um, is very important to Jesse because we as you write we, we all in this together mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the impact mm -hmm. because um, the businesses are hurting uh, and it, it, they're hurting financially, not simply because some of them are closed. Yes, that is so. But let's just, I don't think we've ever really given thought to the impact mm -hmm. of COVID on business operations. Mm -hmm. So meaning that you have an employee who probably has tested positive, what does that mean for the business? It means that you would have to close. Deep you clean. Would, you have to get the deep clean name. Mm -hmm. All of the employees, you would have to go into some quarantine mm -hmm. and, and then wait for that 14-day period um, and, and all of this. So there is that impact that is that everyone is feeling in one degree or another and yes. so for that very reason and you're right that it's important for every single individual every single stakeholder to be on board and to you may not necessarily always agree with everything that is done but we need to be able to support what those measures are for us to be able to see um that we are making headway in, in being able to uh, protect ourselves uh, from COVID-19. I, I don't mean to go back into the lives and livelihoods debate, but you know, it just goes to show that there are so many gray areas that remain unexplored. You know, a lot of things that different businesses, different um, aspects of the, the different various sectors are experiencing that are not necessarily publicized or in, mm -hmm. you know, the seven o'clock news, but they are dealing with it quietly and sometimes absorbing great, at great cost to them themselves yeah because so. you know be, being able to become COVID-19 compliant certificate mm -hmm. compliant is itself. also a cost mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have to pay for that whether you mm -hmm. have to alter um, some structures within the, the, the business establishment um, mm -hmm. buying all of those protective and um, um, personal protective things with the hand sanitizer you have to get masks for your staff get gloves if you need need to be yes. so th there is a cost all around and we may as you say we may not always be thinking about that mm -hmm. but it is there it is happening absolutely absolutely um going back to the jamaican account that you read there i i, I took away you know the 
the attributing of, 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 of the non-adherence to COVID-19 to the increase in cases. And, and typically when you bring up that subject, you know, persons get a bit offended, you know? Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. dare you say, I am the reason for, you know, the, the, the spike in cases? Is it really the population's fault? And there are persons in the population who are adhering, you know, and this yeah. is not going out to use. Miss Mary, sitting in library, who's been wearing the mask every day, using hand sanitizer, observing the six foot distance. This is not toward you. It is toward the individuals who it is documented for. There is evidence for that persons are not adhering in certain instances. And, and the festive season was a case in point where persons were given a degree of leeway. Look, Go about your merry way, but please keep in mind the protocols. Please ensure that you are doing right by this COVID-19 effort. Uh, because at the same time, we need to try to see how we can continue to fend off COVID-19. You know, COVID is not saying, oh, well, it's Christmas. Oh, well, it's Valentine's. You know, mm -hmm. I'll give you all a break tonight. No, no. You know, no. It, it is continuing to ravage populations around the world. And, you know, the situation, again, is not unique to us. We are one of many countries that are dealing, that are hoping for as many vaccines as possible, that are dealing with the infe infection um, rates, high mm -hmm. infection rates, especially dealing at this with time. repeated lockdowns. Mm -hmm. Repeated lockdowns, you know. We, we have a state, we are in a state of emergency, um, um, right now, we're not in a lockdown, but there has been a scale back in activity. So there is definitely an, the, the, the increase in the cases definitely affecting the bottom line. And we must, officials must state that we need to do better because it's obvious that something is not being done. So in every you know, case, every time you go out, please be mindful and don't take offense when you hear you know, oh, we're dropping the ball here. It's not, don't take it personally. It is, we're speaking in, in a population mm -hmm. sense that we all need to do better because I'm sure we can think of instances where perhaps we may have forgotten to sanitize. You know, mm -hmm. we may have forgotten at one particular time, you know, getting into the habit of things in the last year may be difficult because we spent a lifetime doing as yeah. we pleased. Mm -hmm. now, I, at, at first, I just mm -hmm. could not manage with the mask, but yep. I have now become so accustomed to, to. To, to it. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, so it is really, as you say, about getting into the habit of getting these things done. Um, I, I know personally of, case, of instances where you've had one or two um, workers testing positive from COVID-19, mm -hmm. um, not necessarily contracting it at the establishment, but coming into work and testing positive for COVID-19, but no other staff That's members would test positive. And why? Because they are following the protocols. So you're wearing your mask once you come in into contact with, with people. Well, you know, I walk around Sanitize. with the, the, the small bottle of sanitizer. Mm -hmm. So it makes it easier for you. So I don't just put it in the pocket. I hold it in right. my hand so, so that as I'm walking you're around, aware. perhaps opening, touching doorknobs and desks and so forth, that I just know it's in my hand. Squeeze. Sanitize. Because mm -hmm. um, it's a, a summary, uh, a coup de parole, la ça qui bien important pour nous savoir. Pièce yon bagay pa kan pi show hen COVID. Même mm -hmm. manye nou ka di, mas tou sel, sou mette mas tou sel, e kou pa sanitize la man, ou, ou ni problem nan toujou. Si ou ka sanitize ou ni mas la, e kou ou ifize ou ete kayou, ou ni wis la, pou hen ni. Vous comprenez Si des fois ou un monde ouvre la brasse, yo, euh, des fois yo, ou, ou, eh, ou vini, yo dit pas en brasse. Ou quand il y a un nico, on nous a dit, mettez masque là, sanitize, chaîne distance social là, ou restez kayou. Toutes ces bagailles ça vini ensemble, kay euh, empêche ici manger. L'autre bagaille là, c'est nous qui avons le gouvernement qui a dit, et si moi aller eh, eh, by explanation ça, qui moi aime un peu, et moi qui nous ça pris attention pour ça. Les questions étaient posées à, à l'Ivou Madei. Est-ce que um, euh, nous avons parlé de la porte 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 la porte de 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 mon porte de la 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 porte de la
nous qui pas mêler monde qui pas ca mettre masse toute communauté à côté personne pas mêler là où près toute sans considération ça c'est résultat ça nous nier parce ou bien dit ça si moi venir en contact be ou be Jessie Courtney moi ni masse moi na sanitize la main moi elle a dit que je ne pouvais pas la veille. Je ne pouvais pas la veille. Est-ce que je ne pouvais pas la veille? Je ne pouvais pas la veille. Mais je ne pouvais pas la veille. Il y a un point où tout le monde pour comprendre, messieurs, dames, ou ni pour faire ça ou ni pour faire une pièce, yon bagay pas qu'à empêcher. Et bien, la pan pièce, yon bagay qui a mené Vini. En même voie, c'est pour ça à présent, le gouvernement a commencé 7 jours, et a été soukoué pour veiller qui ça qui a fait. Pour voir si nous avons moins de monde, pour voir qui manière nous avons contrôlé et qu'on a bien dit, les nous avons fait les mois qui descendent, les nous avons fait les gens qui ont fait les points d'adjustement, ils ont fait les adjustements, les nous avons fait les conseils pour faire. All right. We'll take a short break now. When we come back, we'll just you know, gloss over some of the big events that happened uh, for this week. Thank you so much for coming on back with us. We were just uh, co going over some of the, <laughs> the, the big takeaways of the week. And the biggest, of course, uh, is the 5,000 e-books, um, the learn book uh, that the government of St. Lucia has procured and uh, distributing to uh, secondary school students island-wide. And we have the, the students from Form 2 uh, to 4 or 5 receiving um, the e-books as well as MiFi devices. And these devices will help the uh, students be able to use the learn book uh, even though they have no internet uh, access. Now, these, uh, the learn book or e-books, there was a, a pilot uh, project that was last February, there was a pilot project. We had some 2,862 e-books uh, for from fours and that went to 13 uh, secondary schools um, and that I said was in the pilot phase and given COVID-19 the acceleration of that program to now have the students across the board receiving um, those uh, e-books. The schools that received the learn book devices back then last year February Angers Secondary, Beanfield Comprehensive, Castries Comprehensive, Cicero Secondary Choiseul Secondary, Clendon Mason, Grand Riviere, John Odlam Secondary, Miku Secondary, Patricia D. James Secondary, P.I. Secondary, Sir Ira Simmons Secondary, and the St. Lucia National Sports Academy. And so the schools who have been added onto that is the Babano Secondary, Bocage Secondary, Corinth, Entrepo, Leon Hess, St. Joseph's Convent, St. Mary's College, Sufra Comprehensive, and V4 Comprehensive. And so we've seen that the learn book is also coming equipped with the syllabus 
And so mm -hmm. you will be able now, the, what the government is working towards and the Ministry of Education working towards, is being able to have um, all your books on there so downloadable. And so parents will now just simply be paying one nominal fee for the year and being able to have their mm -hmm. students um, download the, the text once it's available via um, the e or soft copies are available, then that will be posted there for the students. The ebook also allows, which I find um, to be quite interesting, that the teachers are able to track the success of, of students. Um, they'll be able to know if you are actually doing your homework. Um, you'll be able to chat in real time with your teacher and other students if you need help. Um, you could get your labs done um, there as well. And so it presents a, an absolute um, advantage for students and for teachers um, in being able to really attract what's happening um, academically uh, and being able to give the students um, the sort of um, ease knowing that if they're not in the physical classroom, by no means are they being left out. Messages, homework, and postings, all of those things can be done on that learning device or what we're calling the e-book. And while we're speaking schools, I just want to say congratulations to the graduates of the South Lewis Community College. They graduated mm -hmm. on Sunday. And, uh, you know, just to go back to the words of the Prime Minister as well as the principal and even the Minister for Education, that, you know, these uh, graduates are in a very good position at this time. They have the advantage of, of being able to say that they were able to overcome adversity. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest adversities we've seen in, in decades being the pandemic during their studies. So congratulations. In a century. In a century. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so uh, congratulations to you all and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Um, I think we could go to the Prime Minister's announcement. We saw the curfew. That was another big thing that came up. So a 10-hour curfew on evenings between 7 p.m. to 5, 5 a.m. And uh, we heard from, I, I'm not sure what prompted it, but we did hear from Nemo that the green passes that have been, um, that have been used in the previous state of emergency, the lockdown, they're no longer effective. So I, I, I hope nobody was on the streets <laughs> between 7 and 5 Presenting to officers a <laughs> green pass. It is a Jesse Mokwe, a lay, the caddy, lay, vini, Monday, a massy, the puyon, lane, quite a chet, and a company, Munga, who sa service, like a lay, ni, fujis, mask, or a Monday, quay, a boot mask, a money sack, or a land, go, you must have passed. No, Melania was a prison, who si pose, a by. But my two shanty tack, a conuka, a lay, pale, give no vina, no cavina, fair, a program, no. Uh, C'est un développement ici maintenant, quand euh, nous avons hâte Jesse, le Premier ministre, de faire un annoncement euh, mardi, écoutez, euh, 7 jours, nous avons eu un état de soukou, qui a bout euh, mardi, qui a vini, et puis qui a haché, l'ayant entré en Parlement, il a eu un conseil, il a eu un VC, il a ajouté ça pour trois mois. Encore, euh, nous avons eu raison pour ça, c'est l'IMOA, nous avons eu quantité de l'IMOA, c'est juste ça. Bagaïla, nous avons dans la troisième phase de monde qui a contacté Vemina. En éducation, nous avons eu l'ayant vini pour Mamaï l'école. Changer, il y a une série d'actions qui prend un coup, c'est d'être qui Mamaï l'école uh, toute l'école fermée et c'est maman là caillou pour la peine nous caillou savent j'ai dit là en chai en c'est maman là oui souvent équipement électronique qui caillou assiste yo là il vient pour travailler yo avec les ça te cabai explication ça yo déjà commencé pour j'ai ça côté au bail en chai maman l'école secondaire majorité en c'est l'école secondaire c'est équipement ça ça c'est Côté yo sa fait travail l'école yo sa se côté yo nan se la vantay lan, liv lan, ou sa nik pe pou li ek ou kay ni a sou se ekipman sa an chay mama yi ka hen ni. Kwa nou ka wè, mèm an tout sa ki ka fet an COVID, la nan chay bagay ki ka tounen kon benefis. Pli bon nan si men nan osi nou pale bay Mise Gordon Hod, se li ki PRO, Asosiasyon Bank. Et qui a dit qu'il est bien important, c'est là qu'il vient pour vous qu'il y a un banque là, il m'a dit qu'il faut couiller avant ou aller, pas n'y aller là sans appointement, couiller. Et quand il y a un qui fait sur Internet, il y a aussi parlé à son moratorium là, ou quand il a changé là, il a commencé l'année passée, il y a un autre qui a été automatique, 
Banque Central a bail permission pour faire ça. Mais à présent, il a dit, vous n'y pouvez pas entrer, vous avez ajouté pour juste septembre, mais vous qui n'y pouvez pas l'on et puis eh, ces banques-là, vous n'y pouvez pas faire appointement, aller parler de vous, vous n'y pouvez pas ou prendre un travail. Quand un coup ça, il n'y a pas automatique, comme nous avons dit, il n'y a pas de coin. Voilà. Et moi, je voulais euh, ensemble et puis Jesse dit, euh, euh, c'est ma maille là, congratulations pour ces mamay au monde. Nan. Ces mamay là qui eh, fait graduation, euh, ces mamay ça nous a tiré chapeau, bah, nous a dit bravo, et souhaitez yo. tout ça qui bien, yo ça bien dit, il partait yon chimé qui aisé, mais yo en fin, yo fait eh, graduation, ça quand a, nous a tiré chapeau, bah, c'est mon ça. Yes. So some, some quick facts before we close off. Uh, in terms of the state of emergency, we know that uh, the parliamentarians will be going to the House this week uh, to um, go in for the extension of the state of emergency for a period of 90 days. And we want to let you know that uh, the state of emergency may not extend for that period of time. It is subject to the assessment of the officials, the experts, health experts, and so on, to determine what risk, what level of risk will be at in 90 days. So come 30 days, come 60 days, we may not be in such dire straits, in such a critical uh, status as we are now requiring the state of emergency. And uh, finally, I know some persons are pulling hairs in terms of um, so does this mean that the alcohol ban, the liquor license suspension, will be extended for that period of time? Uh, allaying your fears that the, the new state of emergency does not necessarily mean that the current 21-day uh, alcohol ban will remain in effect for the 90-day period. So please take note of that. And even more important now that you must stay tuned to NTN for updates as they come from the government of St. Lucia to alert you as to when and to and how these, uh, update, these protocols will be adjusted as we go into this 90-day period. Uh, so I guess we've come to the end of things. We've come to the end of things. Yes, we'd like to thank you so much for watching. It's all the time we have for uh, today. We do hope that you enter this weekend uh, safe and sound. Please adhere to the protocols and please stay in between the hours of 7 p.m. and 5 a.m. We want no one on the wrong side of the law. <laughs> Keep safe until Monday morning. We'll see you. My name is Jesse Leonce on behalf of Lissa Joseph and Carlton Cyril and the rest of the team here. Keep safe. Goodbye.